What is up, YouTube? It's Sebastian and White Chocolates. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Go XLR Mini and helping you guys set it up. So let's get straight to the video. Before we get into any of this, what we want to do is actually uh we have everything set up so you've plugged in your go xlr what we want to go do is go into your sound settings right click on it just open sound settings as you would and uh first what you want to do here is your output device should be your system two right here it's system system two tc helicon go xr mini so we're going to press that boom set it up and then for your input device what you want to put is the chat mic okay don't put the sample the broadcast stream mix you want to put the chat mic because if you put the broadcast stream mix you're going to get some echoing and you don't want that in your stream and people don't want to hear an echo when you're talking to them so make sure you do this um, once you're done with that what you want to do is go down to some sound control panel all right so what you guys want to do here is basically in your playback device you have the you have a lot of new devices that are in your like playback device your recording sounds and communications but for this specific tutorial for a streaming uh, obs uh, discord everything tutorial review everything set up what you want to do is put your chat <clears throat> as your default communications device and your system your default device all right so none of this none of your headphones none of that and you're probably not going to be able to hear anything for a little bit so you have everything set up but just put this as your default communication your chat default communication device in your system as your default device so moving on to recording um all you got to do here is just make sure that your chat mic is your default device here now we're basically done with that part but however if you want to separate your uh music from your stream so you don't have to hear the music while you're playing a game and you're like yes dude i want to do that i want people to hear music but i don't want to hear it well don't worry we got you covered so all you have to do for that is uh go into your advanced sound options it's right over here we're gonna go app volume and device preferences so basically all you have to do here is change your spotify uh device and as you can see there is no spotify device so what we're gonna do is just open spotify and we're gonna hit play on a song and it's basically gonna come back up boom harris heller stream beats if you need copyright free music uh, make sure you listen to harris heller's stream beats for streamers uh so anyway as you can see spotify came back up and what we want to do is for your output we're gonna select music to tc helicon go xlr mini <clears throat> so now we literally are basically done setting up the basic parts of your sound settings so uh, another thing we want to do is go into your discord as you have it open boom and all you got to do is go to voice and video app settings and just put your input devices chat mic boom got that done and your output device is a chat device as well okay this is probably a little bit more simpler than voice meter video and trust me it, this was kind of confusing too but you get to hang of it once you're doing what i'm doing so when you have that done that's basically done for your discord you're going to be able to hear people they're going to be able to hear you and uh, it's going to go out to your stream so now that we're done with our sound settings uh we're ready to set up our mic and get some cool little things involved so first before we do any of the gates equalizers all that fun dandy handy stuff what we want to do is go into your mic setup so this basically varies on your mic. I have a dynamic mic, so I put the dynamic mic set. If you're using a condenser mic, you obviously put condenser, uh, 3.5 millimeter mic, put that down. Um, so I recommend uh, testing this out with your gate all the way turned off. So all we have to do is just put this baby down. You're probably gonna hear some background noise because the gate is obviously not set, but this is gonna be allowing you to hear way better. And um, test your mic so are you like how do i hear my mic well you can go into your sound settings and turn it on so you can listen back to the playback however if you want to hear your mic all you have to do is just press this button right here and i can hear myself through my headsets right now and i can basically get real time change done to my mic right okay boom 
amazing all right so getting your gain set is very important so you can have a good sounding mic people won't have a hard time hearing you stream will be having a good time i recommend for a dynamic mic to have it pretty close to your mouth because of the uh, gain is a much much lower however you can put it up but that's going to be picking up a lot more background noise and it's not going to sound as crisp and clear and very uh, appealing to uh, people so the go xlr has a minus i think uh preamp or amp i'm not too familiar with xlrs but this is my first one and uh it's very very nice and very convenient for me i love it so yeah <clears throat> So I have my gain set to 45 decibels. However, I can uh, or I can put it up and you guys can obviously tell the difference of the sound and how it sounds. Uh, you can also hear my fan because <clears throat> it's all the way up. But this gives you a chance to put it up to 72 decibels. And as you can see, there's clipping and stuff. So we're just going to put it down to 45 decibels. What we had it to. Uh, we don't need it any louder or anything like that. So we got that done. Uh, boom, set up your gain. Next up is our gate. Um, I recommend doing this last though, because um, you wanna hear the change that is being done to your mic without the, the gate closing and opening. So uh, I recommend doing this last. If you wanna do it now, it's up to you. Um, but we're gonna go over to the equalizer. So basically the equalizer uh, basically just adds processing to your mic and makes it sound a lot better however i will be playing a back and forth version of uh, my mic before the xlr and my mic without the xlr settings and equalization and everything hey guys so this is the mic at a usb level so this is basically what i've been using i think the last two videos or maybe the last video so this is basically what it sounds like uh, with the USB and not the XLR that you guys just heard. So basically, guys, for your first one, the 90 hertz frequency is basically kind of your subtone. I'm going to move it around and you guys are going to see the difference that it makes. So as you can see, at negative 9, there's just a tiny bit of difference. And if I put it all the way up, it's a little bit more bassier, has a little bit more of a like piece there's a little, little bit louder uh so your subtones are pretty 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 much uh, like in hand all right so for the next one you're you're 160 hertz frequency and as we put it down it sounds like really not bassy like it just sounds plain sounds flat um so just mess around uh don't copy my settings because this is my mic if you have a same mic and you're using literally i mean you might but honestly, just play around with it. it. Everything depends on your voice and like everything's gonna vary on your mic. So I highly recommend playing around with it, seeing what sounds good for you because these settings are not gonna be. The so for 480 Hertz frequency, this is basically your like mids, your mid frequency. Um, if we put it all the way down, as you guys can see, it sounds just a tiny bit different. It doesn't sound much different, but it's still, noticeable little change like to somebody that's been hearing you like every day they're probably not going to notice it like my chat didn't notice that much of a difference only thing i notice is that it sounds much clearer than a usb mic but you guys can be the judge of that so for the 1.5 k hertz uh this is basically like it i don't know how to explain it you sound really nasally like you're congested like if i have it like this it doesn't sound that bad However, if I have it down here, it's it's like it's just it's just really weird uh, sound. Uh, I'm not a fan of, so I just keep it up on two. Uh, if you guys wanted just a more uh, natural sound, you just leave it towards the middle. Don't put too much change on it, um, and you'll be fine. But yeah, just mess around with settings, see what sounds good for you, so you can figure out which settings to put. So your four point uh 5k is kind of your um your s's almost like i don't know how to explain it but it's just your s's change when you move it around so if we go up here you can hear my s s i sound like more of a snake slippery snaky snake right so uh we don't want that 
I, I don't want that. So I'm gonna put it back down to negative one. This would sound a bit better for me, but if I have it on negative nine, the S's are like s s s s not as harsh, right? So I have it on negative one, not, not much change, just put it down one. Uh, so my S's aren't too harsh. They're not uh, really bad to the ears, you know? Uh, so your 7.8 hertz is basically your high tones, your higher frequency. And if we put it down, as you guys can see, it, got, it sounds like I'm in a box. It doesn't sound very well. Um, if you we put it all the way up, you know, this doesn't sound too bad. Um, but I like it just a little bit. So we're just going to leave it down on the two. So now that we're done with the equalizer, we can move on back to the gate and set up our gate so we can hear how should sound so I highly recommend if you're gonna be playing games on a keyboard and stuff just start typing see if you can hear it have your OBS pulled up see if you can see the you know you guys can probably hear it right so uh, we're gonna put it down to 50 decibels of the threshold this is what I had this is what works for me and for your attenuation attenuation I'll uh, we'll just leave that a hundred percent attack. I put that at 10 milliseconds. Uh, your release is basically like how fast it releases. So I have it set on 300 milliseconds. Uh, if you have it set too low, uh, it's going to cut out some of your words and stuff. So you don't want to have it too low. You don't want to have it too high because then it's, it's like basically not going to work. So uh, I recommend having it like at 300 to 500. That's kind of a really good mid grounds where you should be having your gate at. It's basically just. Uh, allows your words to come through and not get cut off by it, right? So that's literally all you have to do for the gate. So moving on to the compressor, um, basically, that was a really loud P, but um, moving on to the compressor, it's basically uh, just this threshold ratio, attack, release, and makeup gain. I don't use any makeup gain. Uh, I, I don't need to. I can have some. Just gives me a little bit more of a louder tone as you guys can see I, I may add this on later on however i just like the nice and quiet um tone i may just add one decibel you know give it a little bit it's fine anyway so uh basically this is your compressor and i'll just show you what it does so as you can see it mine is set a negative 15 so if i put this all the way down i'm gonna get way quieter right so we don't want that so i have it set pretty like towards the middle so this is zero compression um, or this is the zero uh, threshold. However, I'm going to put it at negative uh, 15 decibels. Uh, so the ratio, there's a lot of different ratios. There's like eight to one, four to one, uh, like 16 to one. This kind of makes it sound a little bit different, um, but a good mid ground to stay at is the 4.1 or four to one. And like, I mean, you can also have it at eight to one. I like four to one. It just like sounds better in my opinion. Um, so attack, I have it at two milliseconds and release at a hundred milliseconds. So just, you can just copy that part. It's basically all the same. So we're basically done setting up the mic and setting up how it sounds. Again, all of this is going to vary based on your um, room, based on your setting that you're in, your mic, everything. Uh, so again, play around, see what sounds best for you. I basically give you the gist and what you're supposed to do. Just make your mic sound good. And as you can see, there's also these profiles. So I have mine saved as stream because you know it's for the stream and stuff. You can have it on sleep. So there's no lights on it. Uh, there's different colors. I'm not going to mess with it because it's going to change all my settings, but you guys get the gist. So next up is the mixer. So basically the mixer here, you have different channels. So uh, as you can see, uh, this is the channel one. That's my mic. Channel two is the chat, channel three is the music, and channel four is the system. So obviously this is the mic. This is where you're gonna be hearing people talk and music is obviously your music. Uh, and your system is all around all your settings. So your YouTube, uh, I believe your games, not believe, it's definitely your games and everything else. All right, so for the mic, uh, I have it set to mute all. So if I press the mute button, So you guys couldn't hear me. Uh, that's what the mic does. It's going to be muting uh, it for me, the chat, everything, every single one. So it's not going to be getting passed on to my stream or the chat. 
uh, that's basically all you have done and you guys can see the mixer here whatever uh, you have like I can just put it down that just like lowers my gain technically um, so for the channel 2 I have my chat and for the voice chat again I have it set to mute all right so voice chat it's the source channel 2 voice chat uh, and the mute option I have it to mute all so if I were to press mute so uh, that's basically how it works for every single channel uh, for the music channel I have it set to uh, mute all as well um, however I actually have a separate audio uh, in my discord so if I were to mute it it would just mute it for me and not the stream I I'll show you guys how to do that later so for channel 4 I have it set to system as well and for the mute option I have it to mute all basically that does the same thing if I were to press the mute button wouldn't be able to hear anything in the background that's going on so that's you can set that differently you have the <clears throat> bleep levels here uh, which is basically this so if i were to say Fuck, just bleeps it out but you have to press the button so. yeah anyway you have the headphones here as well um this you can like kind of extend with this little bar and you can monitor your like sound uh, that's coming through your headphones that you're talking in so i have it on 80. i don't even use this i'm just doing it for the video all right so next up we have routing and this is also going to vary on how you want your stream set uh personally i have these checked off so as you can see i have my headphones uh so my mic is getting sent to my headphones if you basically just want to look at it this way so all these are the inputs and they're getting output to either you your uh your stream or your chat okay so here's the best way i can explain this so my mic my mic right is getting sent to my headphones right now so i'm able to hear myself talking okay my mic is also getting set sent to my chat mic which then people in discord can hear me all right so that's basically that so let's move on to the chat so my chat is basically the discord sound discord sound is getting sent to my headphones so i can hear them and also getting sent to my broadcast stream mix which is basically what my stream hears so for the music it's only getting sent to my headphones because i have it separated in the obs which again i'll be showing you later so we'll take a look on that one then my game sound uh i don't this depends on the game you're playing uh usually i don't i don't really know I don't have this separated so i don't use game i just have it checked off but uh i wouldn't worry about this too much uh so this is your console uh this is basically like your like xbox series x ps5 if you have the thing plugged in however i again you don't really need this your line in you don't need this unless you're i believe using uh two pc setup so if you're using two pc setup i wouldn't watch this video um and your system so this is basically uh the device that you're hearing uh like basically your games uh everything else um so you basically have it sent to your headphones and having it sent to your broadcast stream mix so if you're not using a two pc setup make sure that line out you literally don't even have to have anything checked off so don't worry about that and your samples this is basically if you have a go xlr the full version you have like buttons where you can put like buttons and you can have it set to like play random sounds so again i don't have that so it doesn't really matter so that's basically the routing everything is routed to your stream the way you want it to so again your mic is getting sent to your headphones mic is getting sent to the chat mic chat is getting sent to the headphones and chat is getting sent to the broadcast stream mix so that's literally the way you want to look at it is this is getting sent to that and that's kind of how you understand it right easy so boom you're literally done setting up your mic and your go xlr settings it's very 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 easy if you watch this video fully so we're going to be moving on to uh obs settings because i know some people might have trouble setting this up as i did because not a lot of people explained it very well on youtube so uh here i am doing it for you uh everything so you want to go into your settings which is right here boom settings go into your audio so this is the way i have my setup uh if you want your music separated uh into its own audio into its own track 
so you don't have to hear it in the stream cam well this is basically what you do so for the desktop audio which is basically your game your sounds uh your chat etc just put system boom that's gonna drop something down here which is basically gonna be your system audio that's gonna be called it's gonna be desktop audio boom my desktop audio too i put music so i can separate to hear music and you guys can awesome uh so for my mic auxiliary i have the broadcast stream mix however i'm not using that as my mic so uh don't worry about that just have these two set up boom so here they should have dropped down uh basically your desktop audio and your desktop audio too and this is those two so this would be my desktop audio right here i i renamed it you know you just go here and i put broadcast so i know that it's my system uh it's the game and it's all that fun stuff and over here is the desktop audio too which again i renamed to music so if i were to play some harris heller stream beats boom playing right through my mic but guess what i just turned it off so i can't hear anything awesome great my stream can hear music i don't have to but i can also put down the lever and i can have it really low but we don't want that so that's basically how you separate your audio tracks right from your uh broadcast settings so i have my mic set to if i go into properties i have my chat mic so that's like its own audio track right so if i were to mute it it would just mute my audio it wouldn't mute my whole broadcast that's what i didn't want because people have it set to where they can hear their they're sending their mic through the broadcast stream and i think that's very stupid you just want to have so basically all you want to have is just your discord and your game through your system settings so that's literally how you set up your obs boom so that guys basically covers my review of the go xlr not even a review it's more of a setup you basically guys seen the setup um but my review for it i guess we can talk about now is i really like this uh go xlr mini it's awesome i i personally enjoy it shout out to the airpod on the bed um i like it a lot um however i will say that when i plugged in my astro a40s to it there's a little bit of a staticky sound but i ordered a ground loop isolator with another uh 3.5 millimeter uh headphones things to plug into my mix amp that i have with the astros so it will uh basically be connected to my goal xlr so it doesn't have that staticky sound but other than that i love this thing it, it's awesome i have way more control over my audio and again if i want to talk some shit, you know i can just do that and family friendly stream baby Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you guys set up the Go XLR Mini. I know it's a little bit complicated. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, and stay tuned for another video next Monday. I stream almost every other day on Twitch. So Twitch link is in the description. And yeah, it's been Chocolates. Hope you guys had a great day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.